Hello, people. Before we get started in Barnacle Bay, I wanted to show you what I've been working on all day. Uh, I've been trying to make my release order tracking thing a little bit easier for me to keep up with. And so I thought I'd just show you because now I've got it. I've got it all the way to the bottom when Sims 4 was released and they stopped putting out things for Sims 3. Okay, so um, Late Night came out in October of 2010. I haven't put in Late Night yet. I haven't, you know, downloaded it. But I thought that I would go ahead and do the other stuff that came out that month. So let's just check it all out. Okay, so we've got Calliope's Gifts. I didn't see any reason that I would ever use either of these things, so I didn't get them. Uh, front row center bedroom. I think I got some of the hair and the clothes, but not most of the um, furniture. Uh, wretched Threads. I think I got the, yeah, I got them all. I got them all. Although, I wish that they weren't enabled for adults. I wish that it was all just for um, teenagers. Okay, uh, Animals Abound Playground and Bath. Very exciting to get even more stuff for our little ones. Aw, look at this. Aw. So cute. Okay, what else do we have? Glitter and glam bedroom. I believe that I got it all, but I could be wrong because I, I don't like the bed, but I think I would have gotten all of it, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, transport to the future. I am so excited to get this scooter back because I love that scooter. I mean, the car's kind of weird, but then I just decided to get it anyway because I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, then there is the Dr. Pepper. There were some, um, I'm not even going to click on this because the pictures don't work anyway, but there were rabbit holes. I found two. I don't know if there's more than two, but there's like a sports stadium and a movie theater. That's what I found. And then there was this eight new exclusive sims 3 things from t-mobile and so when i looked at this they mentioned that there was one in august so i looked and there was another this one's called like the bar set or something t-mobile bar set and then there was another one that was like t-mobile entertainment something like that and when i was going through and getting everything um you know, all of the stuff straightened out on the blog, I realized that I didn't get the Romanza bridal party, whatever month that, that was put out. Well, it's not letting me expand it, so whatever. Yeah, I got this. Well, I didn't get the really ugly outfits that are supposed to be, haha, you know, the bride makes the bridesmaids wear really ugly stuff. Haha, I don't want my Sims wearing those, so, you know. Um, and then I realized I didn't get the ultimate career bundle that came when you got ambitions. <laughs> when you, I couldn't think of what it's called. What is this? Patient scan, whatever. Anyway, I realized I didn't have that. Okay, so that was everything for October except for late night, which I'm going to download next. So let's go ahead in a barnacle bay and see what's going on there. All right, so it occurred to me that if we do want to get her the um the car that we want to get her, I want to pick up that parking spot. Aha. Can I do that? Can I Can I put it in here? <gasps> Yay! Okay. So it occurred to me that she can move to one of those cheaper houses and she can get the car that I want her to get. So let's, um, I know there was one, 
check real estate no move within this neighborhood so we're just gonna stay here a little bit just to let you know the game assign different people to different roles and stuff like that you know not like for a super long time all right we're selling our furniture i'm trying to click there we go um let's see what lot we can go into we can go into this one that's 14. i think that might be the cheapest one yeah let's go for the fourteen thousand. we're going for the cheapest house gull's nest you got your nice view for a couple hours there lolita i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> we just made 1800 back is she gonna run or is she gonna spend another freaking 20 dollars to take a taxi ridiculous i know i'm the one that put in the mod but you know one of the reasons that i wanted the mod was to give me the incentive to get like a bike or a vehicle or whatever and i know i'm the one that sold for a little bicycle at the consignment shop but you know you can't blame me for everything <laughs> all right let's get that our thing back out do, 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 da, da, da. all right so we we'll put her car parking spot out and then let's get her the car the car the car the car here it is heartbreak hot rod and i thought we'd get the red one and then find like something fancy to put on it but maybe like on the fenders or something i don't know i don't know what different places you can color on it so let's just check that out first okay so there's there's three different spots that can be done there's the body the fenders and what's this like the hubcaps let's just see if you go like that you could, yeah just the hubcaps boring okay i'm thinking let's do these let's um let's see if we can get i don't know i was thinking like something cute like little hearts or something she's a girly girl she'd like something like that i think Aimed what's this cherries nah doo, doo, doo. i had been thinking maybe these do the other ones have that art on the sides so if i changed this oh oh i see yeah, so it's got the flames no matter what. Okay, this is the one that we want so that we can color it any colors we want. It doesn't have any designs. Good to know, good to know. Okay, themed. There's these hearts that I was looking at. Uh, we could even go with like skulls or something and just make it like pink. I have quite a few outfits like that myself i think it's funny <gasps> oh i love it okay is this one better or this one? Oh my gosh it's so cute freaking adorable okay what color should the body be hmm let's see how this hot pink looks uh no i mean i would probably blind after a while ah. i like it i like it a lot okay so now all we've got are the hubcaps left um they just look kind of dull you know what i mean like they look really cheap metals we have anything shiny like when people see it they go ching 
Um, wow, we have some really dull looking metals here. I want shiny. No? Well, I guess that kind of looks like chrome, but it doesn't go with the... Maybe we should just make the hubcap somehow match this. Maybe that would be better. Would they look better pink? No. <laughs> there is such a thing as too much pink. I'm not actually a very big fan of pink myself, so. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. So now she's got her fancy car. So happy. What's this? Made O meter? What? What did that come with? Hold on, I gotta look this up. Thank you to Game on Tiger Cub for answering my question. Um, the made o meter came with the Fiesta Urban Streetscape thing. And here it is. It says, shown here is the made o meter parking space with meter. As the name implies, it is not just a decorative item. It is actually a parking space for your Sims cars. On a residential lot, it looks really stupid. But if you place it, say, a parker in town, it looks really neat. And then I saw somewhere else that it says it doesn't have, like, an actual meter. It's just, you know, something cool to see. Yeah, we don't want the Mato meter. <laughs> I just wondered what the heck it is. Uh, can I, like, let go of it, please? I, I don't want it. We'll just do that, and it'll go away. There! She's got her fancy, fancy car. Okay, she's already playing with the mirror. Can't I say that's like her preferred form of transport? Can you only do that when it's in here? Oh, okay. Whatever. Okay, uh, so what I really want to do is just have the game running so that things will happen, you know, with the residents. Why don't you, um... Check weekly events. Oh my gosh, stop making faces in the mirror. She does that so much. Oh, and we can take this stuff to the consignment store. Oh my gosh. So I was looking for like a firehouse or something to put in in this town. And I found an entire set of buildings to put in i'm so excited but i need late night for it so i thought i'd put that off at least one episode you know before i'll do it like next episode i'll put in all of these different things i love them i'm so excited about it so exciting oh there's a gorilla thon hold on what time is sunday from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Founders Beach. Where's Founders Beach? I have lost every Gorillathon so far. Where's Founders Beach? We're going. Is this it? Wow, look at that big old group of people. Visit Founders Beach. Are you going to run down there? That would be pretty cool. She's making faces in the mirror again. Um, yeah, so there's, like, two sims that are pregnant in this neighborhood. Uh, I don't think there was, there was, like, many toddlers or anything. Let me look real quick. There's, what are you doing? Okay. I can't even see her. I guess it's because the mountains or whatever in the way. Or, it's not really a mountain, but. Oh, she's going to go swim around? That's fine. So there's Unborn Baby Lay, L-A-I, and then Unborn Baby Rayo, 
I think RAO. Uh, there's one toddler and there are five children. No preteens and there are seven teens. So there's not like a lot of kids in this neighborhood. I don't even know what her bathing suit looks like. I don't think I've ever seen her swim. Oh, you know what? No, but I gave I gave her different hair to go with all of her outfits. So I guess I've seen it at least once. You're swimming by a shark. You'll be able to fight with a shark soon. Well, maybe not soon, soon. Island Paradise is a while off. <laughs> and, I, you know, I was thinking about it. I don't know if I really explained why it is that I'm adding all of the packs and stuff so quickly instead of just playing for a while. Is it? No, it's not time for... I just want to make sure I don't miss out on the grill -a -thon. You know, you got to start grilling right at 1 o'clock. Start grilling later, you're going to miss. But the thing is, I get, like... I don't know how to explain it. Not bored, but I just get distracted by something else and then, you know, kind of lose interest. So I want to get all of the packs in all of the neighborhoods connected and all of that done before, you know, I get bored and start doing something else. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can stay interested enough and able to, you know, get through until I can start Ultimate Sim. I need a challenge. I'm just, it's weird because I didn't used to, but like once I discovered challenges, I can't play without a challenge. So I get bored really easily. Okay, speaking of getting bored, watching you swim around is kind of boring. You want to come over here and... Oh, do you have to get out in order for me to tell you to fish? Why don't you just, like, go here? Although, the by the time she brings out her fishing pole, it's probably going to be time to start grilling. You see, the cool thing is, I might be wrong about this, but... I think that it said something somewhere that if they win the grillathon, they get like a relationship boost with everybody in the neighborhood. I could be wrong, but I think that's what I read. Do you want to just fish for like an hour, I guess? What's her bathing suit look like? Aw, she's so cute. Last time I changed the eyelashes and I realized that she didn't end up having any. There's probably going to be like all these people in Sunset Valley that need like their eyelashes and all this stuff fixed because I've changed things so much by the time I get back there. But I am so excited about putting that uh, set here in Barnacle Bay. And then I found a couple others for some of the other neighborhoods like that, you know, sets that people made. And I'm just like, yes, this is going to be awesome. And some of them I'm going to have to wait to put in until I get back through uh, after I've put all of the packs in. Because some of them have stuff from other packs, you know. Oh, and she can cook the fish. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Wish you wanted to catch angelfish. Fifteen. Oh, is that ever? That's not just now? I didn't realize that. That's interesting. All right. Let's start making our way over to the grill. I'm so serious about this. I lose these contests every time. I really, really want to win this time. <laughs> you ran. I was expecting it to take you longer to get there. You want to, like, play guitar or something for a couple minutes? Isn't that guitar so cool? No, 
now why does her guitar playing is it so soft and it seems like other people when they play the guitar it's so loud then again i think i might have turned all of the settings down really low any second now it'll be wait is it one o'clock or noon now i can't remember quick check the newspaper Oh, here we go. Grill five times to improve relationship with townies. Yes. Excellent. I will do this that you speak of. Oh, uh, okay. Let me serve. I don't know. What's the name of this fish I have here? Siamese catfish. I don't think it matters. Fish and chips, serve, um... Why does everything cost money? Just that fish and chips was... Did I leave all of her stuff in the refrigerator at the other house? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so mad at myself right now. Whatever. Not going to worry about it right now. What did I tell her to cook? Fish and chips, hot dogs. We'll get started on the fish and chips and the hot dogs at least. So we're not just sitting here paused. It's weird. Usually once my sim gets somewhere, like, everybody starts coming there. One, two, three. Okay. Why is it? Oh, because she's using it. Darn it. <laughs> Why is it showing them on the ground? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> well, at least she's having fun. Maybe I can get a uh, thumbnail out of this. This is what we spent the whole episode doing. <laughs> Grilling. Uh, I don't know. Did I say hot dogs? I guess I did say hamburgers, right? Cheese tofu steak. There we go. Yeah, I'm excited. I got that magical gnome of sculpt thing. Dina Caliente and Richie Raiden. She's like the town tart or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't understand why nobody else is coming over here. Usually they do. This is kind of boring. Usually, like, whenever my sim goes anywhere, a bunch of people flock to it, whatever. I'm so sad. Nobody even came here. That was the whole point. Did I get five things? I wish I could, like, take these home. One, two, three... I don't see more. Make some more fish and chips. Oh, man, she cooked. She cooked the koi fish. It's my own fault. Sorry, Bloop, you're going to have to go out for a minute. Actually, you know what? I don't want her to cook Bloop either. Buy another bowl. Okay. Stock with one koi fish. Or does she have to go all the way? I don't think she does. I think I can do it. Oh, she just cooked it. It just occurred to me, it's probably taken her so much longer to cook and it's for the other contests that I tried 
because I had relativity up so high before. <laughs> Whatever. We'll win the contest and then see what happens. She's not even hungry. There's like food over here. I can't put it into my inventory. There. Oh, she won $1,000? For grilling for the whole neighborhood, you are now known as a community griller in town. I don't exactly know what that means. Why can't I take you home? Let's go. Um, It's 3 o'clock. We should have enough time. I don't know because she's got to run up to the road. I was going to say she should have enough time to visit Land Grab Salon Swamp. You know what else we could do? <laughs> People are going to be so sick of me doing this. We could visit the matchmaker. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I don't know if we'll get here in time. Here. Excuse. I like this guy. His name's Spot. He was a fireman. Why does your hair look gray right now, Spot? Spot Dalmatia. What else is going on while we wait? Yeah. Nina Caliente is the town tart, and Nina is the town harpy. So funny. So funny, funny. I don't know why that the camera keeps doing that to me. It's really annoying. Oh, she must have brought her car. Okay, anything cool we can buy? I don't have much money. My dog is whining at me. I sell those cat dishes. I can't believe I left everything at the other house. Maybe I'll send her there or something on the way before we go to uh, Bridgeport. I don't know. You want to meet Spot? So do a friendly introduction. Or not? Do I have this on high speed or something? It seems like everybody's hooking up. Like, day one. Spot is a genius. Good sense of humor. Virtuous. Why do they always talk about politics? Now, if this was Sims 2, I would think it was their interest, but they don't have interests or whatever it is in this game. Oh, I should have made her car yellow. That's fine. Oh, that Yives Bernard guy's here. They're no oh my god, they're playing tag. I thought those people were all here. Are you telling me? No, Yves Bernard is here. I'm probably butchering that name. And I took French class too. I should know how to pronounce it, but I don't know why the camera is doing that. It's so annoying. Is Rhonda Bagless here? No. Okay. Just Yves. What do I got relativity set out right now? It seems to be taking a really long day for this game day. Wow. I talk good. A really long time for this day. 19. 19's what people suggest on their ass forms, but... And I think 36 is what it is normally. Laurel Lie, what is she? Oh, the leader of Town Robin. Oh, yeah, because I think she's a kleptomaniac. She might be the one. Somebody I changed their aspiration, lifetime wish thing. Town Bite, Town Bully. Oh, time to save. All these weird sims agreeing to play tag with her. It's so funny. Uh, 
All right, how much do we sell? 184. Oh my god. All right. Now what do we do? Oh, at least she's filling up her fun. Can't complain too much. Did they make another um festival grounds that would fit this lot? That makes more sense to me to have the festival grounds here than this. We'll see. Because I'm replacing this lot with one of those ones that I was talking about. I think that the best thing to do right now is to check out the matchmaker. So let's uh, do the makeup matchmaker. So we have to meet everybody in town. All right. So master controller. How did we do it? Sim, intermediate, long-term relationship, by category, Sim A, active Sim, Sim B, we'll say age. Here. All right, so we don't want, there's no teens that are old, older, so let's just say young adult and adult. I guess. I mean, she's really young. Eh. I don't know. Young adult and adult, I get. Alright. I'm just gonna speed this part up, I guess. Was that it? I was like expecting something else to pop up. Okay, where is the spa? I didn't see it. Oh, all the way over here. All right. Is it matchmaker? Oh, this is pretty neat. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, look, there's a little table back here. That's neat. Yeah, it's got a whole new, like, revamp of that building. Yes. Help me with my romance issues. <laughs> All right. Who is our highest? What? Wait. Nobody. Mo Pesci is the highest. And that's at 80. There's nobody. So it's got to be over 100 to get that um mood like we learned in the last town oh she's never gonna meet her soulmate or lolita maybe bridgeport will be kinder to us so i guess i'm gonna end the episode here i know it was kind of boring nothing exciting happened i just i felt like I've been spending every single episode doing boring stuff. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Maybe I should make that the thumbnail instead. Oh, so pretty. I love it. There we go. Alrighty, well, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!